Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome, welcome to this lecture. So, now I am going to summarize whatever so far we discussed. Okay, let us see just to uh, recapitulate what exactly happening just to link all of them together. So, what happened? I mean what happened in immune system? I mean why immune system is there? You know to protect us from infection or mostly for uh, from infection, right. So, what is happening? there is a first line of defense. Okay, so, there is a first line of defense and in this defense what we have? In this defense we have many things. We have our screen, we have mucus immediately they are taking care. Okay, so, if there is any pathogen it uh, is not so easy for the pathogen to enter into our system. right? So, what is happening if any pathogen if there is a cut that I am just going to repeat exactly what is happening if there is a cut and in, in that cut. So, there is a suppose there are infections suppose there are bacteria what is when the first reaction happen the first reaction is going to happen that uh, there will be a inflammation and that inflammation will you know that that inflammation will uh, make lot of uh, difference in the immune system that will actually ca uh, cause um, or to inform the immune system exactly that what is going to happen. So, what are the uh, what are the cells there what are the immune cells there there are neutrophils there are neutrophils there are monocytes. right there are uh, other uh, cells like eosinophil basophil they are mast cell so so many things are there and from there from the site of infection or tissue i mean a tissue uh, uh, infection site tissue or skin whatever is there from there this antigen or the pathogen will bring to the nearest lymph node. In lymph node what is there? In lymph node there are T cells, there are B cells. Okay. So, when this thing is going to come? If our innate immune system which is supposed to take care of the very beginning are failed. Okay. If the primary line of defense just breached and then this adaptive immune response will come. So, this antigen is going to be presented by uh, presented to T cells by different APC antigen presenting cells which are macrophage we also write macrophage like m5 we have dendritic cells we have b cells here also as uh, antigen presenting cells so these and macrophage or dendritic cells what they are going to do suppose I am talking about the macrophage. So, in macrophage what is going to happen what I just discussed right in the last lecture is that the antigen will antigen will come antigen will come and it going to be internalized going to be internalized 
and suppose if I take this color as red, it will be internalized and this internalized vesicle will be in the vesicle that will be chopped into pieces that will be chopped into different pieces which will go with MSC 2. So, ultimately it will be presented by MSC 2. This is one thing happening and during this inflammation during this fact that inflammation what is going to happen lot of cytokines are going to happen cytokines chemokines which will bring all this thing uh, I mean all the different cells into the site and what is this symptoms of um, inflammation just to recapitulate again that is heat pain swelling and redness right this will tell you that okay some in, i mean if all four or any at least first three like heat pain and swelling is there you will see that inflammation is happening inflammation means there are infection is there so this antigen processed in case of external pathogen and in case of internal or cytosolic pathogen then the suppose the dendritic cells are going to take care and that antigen or the viral antigen are going to be presented by MSC 1. Okay. Both this dendritic cells and macrophage are going to lymph node. What they are going to do? They are going to release lot of cytokines. They are going to release lot of cytokines. What these cytokines are going to do? These cytokines are doing two things. One, they will, I mean, they will, exp I mean, control the macrophage and dendritic cells called autocrine regulation. That autocrine regulation will activate the macrophage. Lot of molecule will come. One, I mean, will come again when you will see the T cell activation. How? What are those molecules? co-stimulatory molecules will come. So, these molecule are newly expressed which was not there in macrophage. So, cytokines will produce and they will activate itself. Okay. So, the cytokines cytokines both in case of dendritic cells and macrophage they will activate itself. At the same time the cytokines also the cytokines also activate B cell and T cell. So, first this macrophage is going to I mean it is better to this T cell part first I mean this both the dendritic cell as well as macrophage produce cytokines that is going to activate T cells depending on their activity like dendritic cell the MSC 1 will activate cytotoxic T cell macrophage with MSC 2 will activate T helper cells. So, the T helper cells this macrophage the T helper cells are of two type one is going to make the TH 1 response that TH 1 response again activate macrophage to kill the internal uh, pathogen or intravesicular pathogen inside it and there are one T follicular T helper follicular cells which is you are going to learn in much more detail that this T helper cell is going to help the B cell. There is one very important thing is there in the immune system because there is always a possibility that either T cell or B cell can do the mistake okay. because if, if there is no control. So, that is why every both the activation of T cell and B cell it is important that both that B cell and T cell should get two different signal. Okay. What is this two different signal? What is this two different signal? Two different signal means suppose this is suppose this is the T cell 
Okay. This is the T cell. So, what is happening this T cell is this receptor is there. Okay. If any antigen binds here with presented with the MHC, this is the MHC molecule, this is macrophage. So, this interaction this this is T C R this is T C R this T C R and M H C this interaction will give one signal. Okay. Suppose, this is signal 1 this interaction is going to give a signal to the T cell that this interaction is happening. If this thing happen only then T cell will not be activated because there may by mistake it can happen because so many t because in lymph node what is happening there are so many T cells this is packed and there are so many lymph nodes are there this is packed. So, when one antigen presenting cell is going it is interacting with many T cells. So, some weak interaction can happen any time. So, this is not going to activate the T cell. So, this interaction should stable for some time and this interaction this activity I mean this I mean how this antigen is presented let me make the different color. So, how this antigen is presented how this antigen become here in uh, on top of MHC molecule this antigen is processed because it is already taken up the whole bacteria was taken up into vesicles and this vesicle is make this uh, antigen into small pieces this is presented by MHC 2. So, during this process macrophage get activated activated macrophage is what they are going to do activated macrophage are going to release some small molecules okay. release some small molecules they are mostly cytokines and chemokines in this case it is cytokines. So, these also will activate okay. this will also activate. So, both this if this is signal 1 suppose this is signal two both signal is very very important either signal 1 or signal 2 is not going to do any change in the T cell because you imagine one macrophage is there and lymph node is packed. So, there are many T cells okay. there are many T cells surrounded by this macrophage all are T cells all are T cells. So, this cytokine is a molecule. So, if this cytokine released by the macrophage it is not only specifically there I mean there is no uh, uh, person is there that go and feed there. So, these molecules can go either this side or can this side. So, cytokines can go and bind to this T cell, but if this that means if this is the signal 2 it is not going to do anything to this T cell because this interaction signal 1 is not there. So, even it is going bind and giving the signal to T cell will not be activated. So, this is very very important. So, both the signal simultaneously is required to activate the T cell whether it is cytotoxic or it is T helper cell. Okay. Same way same way if we see B cell okay. if B cell is there. So, let me change the color. If B cell is there, okay. So this B cell, this is B cell. All B cell has their receptor, looks like antibody, because they are basically the antibody molecule. So this antibody molecule can bind the antigen freely. That antibody molecule can bind the antigen freely. So they are attached to it. So, antibody interaction with the antigen. So, this red is antigen this antibody interaction with the antigen also gives some signal and this all the receptor when the antibody is receptor they have some cytoplasmic tail. Okay. 
So, as soon as this thing bind to antigen binds to the antibody or the B cell receptor rather. So, this is B cell receptor it will also give a signal ok it will also give a signal. So, this is again signal 1. So, this signal 1 can happen any time because antibody B cell receptor can bind to many things which is not that strong binding or some self antigen is slightly similar and um, to the B cell receptor may interact for a while for very short period of time less efficient or less affinity, but this signal even if it is there B cell will not be activated. Okay, even this is a very one more thing we will discuss it is if this signal 1 or the interaction with B cell receptor and antigen happen only. So, if there is no other signal then that B cell will be energic. Okay. So, only signal 1 if happen if this signal 1 is very strong that means, this interaction is very strong if this thing happen this B cell will be energic. Energic means they will not work any further throughout their life. Okay. They will be totally silent or irresponsive to immune system. So, they are basically out of the immune system. So, that non specific interaction somehow it happened that B cell will be gone. Okay. So, this thing is only this thing is not possible. So, what is going to happen? This thing then this thing then this activated T cell. So, same antigen are presented by the macrophage and if this is MAC 2 then this T cell will be activated. This T cell activated T cell I mean they are, they are in, in lymph node they are very close. Okay, it is not that much space like the way I am drawing. This T cell activated T cell will also re release some cytokines and this small molecule okay, these cytokines will also act on this B cell. Okay. So, this will give a because this is also there is a receptor where it will bind. So, this will give a signal to So, one signal will get from the antigen BCR interaction, another signal will come from this cytokine which will give the signal to. So, in B cell activation both signal 1 and signal 2 is very very essential. If this thing does not happen then we will not see any B cell activation. B cell activation means what? B cell activation means this particular B cell will be converted to plasma cells and in plasma cell what will happen? As soon as it become plasma cell this B cell receptor B C R will be spliced separately that we have seen in uh, during the antibody diversity and antibody processing time. So, it was like initially it was receptor and the same antibody molecule will be produced which does not have any secretory domain by alternate splicing that will release the antibody in the blood. Again this what kind of antibody whether it is Ig first antibody will be IgM and I already told how it is switched and what IgM, IgD the alternate splicing. Okay. So, this whole process is going to take time and that is why the first Thing. So, in this case when it is when we are saying it is very simple and um, straightforward it is not because all this so this antigen processing this antigen processing part we have discussed. Okay. So, when at the very beginning at the introductory class we have discussed all this thing. So, the antigen processing both the in case of 
uh, viral antigen or tumor antigen or uh, extracellular antigen or the pathogen the processing. So, this one line thing antigen processing means you know there are almost one hour lecture what thing is happening. This T cell activation like what is happening we will discuss in uh, next or next to next class how exactly T cell happening. This B cell activation also will be discussed. So, this is the summary like what we have discussed so far. So, what we know? We know how this BCR generated, why we need so many antibody or BCR or so many antibody or TCR because there are so many different pathogens. So, each one, each one is responsible for a specific peptide. Okay. So, that peptide is generated from where? That peptide is generated from antigen. Okay. So, this what is this antigen actually now? What is this antigen? If we see, so suppose this is the this is a protein. Okay. So, this is a protein and this protein this part is one epitope what is epitope? We know that which part of the amino acid or protein is recognized by the antibody. Then it may be a different epitope clear. Again this may be this may be an epitope. What is the difference between this red, green and black? what is that this three epitope suppose this antigen suppose this is one antigen antigen has epitope 1 epitope 2 epitope 3 what is the difference difference is i mean if you see carefully this is the three dimensional conformation if you see this okay now if you make a straight line suppose this is the primary sequence of the peptide now what will happen you will see red is here okay then we'll see green is here but where is the black black you may find some are some are here some here why because you see this part actually this part actually contributed by fold okay because two part of the protein come together and make a structure which is recognized by the B cell or B cell actually right in T cell it is not going to happen T cell is always one type receptor because it is chopped because, but B cell receptor can recognize the whole protein. So, if this is the case so then in case of one or epitope one and epitope two you see it is a continuous sequence this case it is called linear epitope but in case of epitope 3 in case of epitope 3 it is generated because of a particular fold particular conformation if you denature it it will not be there because that will be spread like this this is called conformational epitope okay conformational epitope because this is generated by three dimensional structure of the protein clear so now once this is a protein it is not that one b cell will produce so, once one T cell is activated, one T cell is activated here, that T cell present and in lymph node there is not only one B cell, there are so many B cells. Okay. This will continuously try which can fit into that, because in this case there is no question of here the B cell receptor can recognize the whole antigen, you do not need to chop it. Okay. So, what is going to happen? 
So, it is possible it is possible I am taking the B cell again. So, it is possible that one B cell this is B say B 1 can recognize this another B cell that is B 2 can recognize this another B cell suppose B 3 can recognize this. So, what is happening one antigen entering into our system brought to lymph node presented to uh, T cell and B cell also can see. So, what is going to happen one antigen can activate many B cells each one will produce I mean each B cell will what will happen they will activate they will multiply again many in number all are identical right here it will all be one there it will multiply again there it will multiply two. So, each one will some of them will be converted to plasma cell and each group of each cluster basically each type of B cell will produce antibody they are different, but can target the same antigen. One particular activated one particular activated T cell or one class of T cell what will happen? after activation after activation what will happen they will also multiply right if you see if you remember that uh, on side of dendritic cells they are multiplying. So, each one each activated T cells against that particular antigen sorry against that particular antigen can come and active uh, can come and activate each one. B 1, B 2, B 3 because this is common this particular set is common for particular antigen. So, this T cell can interact with different B 1, B 2, B 3 cluster can activate and because that is why we need more T cells. So, each activated T cell will go and look which B cell is att attached with the antigen. Okay. So, what will happen initially it may the same uh, that is why it takes few days to process initial part that is 7 days one it is activated immediately what is going to happen once it is activated it is activate many B cells that many B cells may be of different type that many B cells or may be of different type may be B 1, B 2, B 3, B 4 because some antigen has only one epitope some antigen may have multiple epitopes. So, more epitopes better for immune system bad for pathogens but what we will see multiple type of B cell is acti are activated they are produce variety of antibody some are very good some are less, but ultimately whole antigen will be taken care. Okay. And this this is how the whole immune system works and there are many other things and then this B cell will uh, that antibody will do the effector function then complement activation uh, optionization. Uh, neutralization many other things and then uh, we will see the effect. Okay. So, so far whatever we have discussed we have discussed how this diversity of this um, how the diversity of this receptor of B cell generate how antigen processed and initially that um, you already know the innate immunity part how this thing happen and you know the complement system by now and then how this uh, this thing generate B cell activation also you know. So, gradually or if you do not know you will know very soon and ultimately the whole system are attack. So, innate immune system will taken care if it fails then adaptive will come, but once adaptive is there it will take care most of the infection and that is why we do not see ourselves sick all the time. Even we are living in a in living in an environment everywhere microbes are there our water our air whatever we are touching everything full of bacteria even our skin. So, many bad bacteria are there, but we, we are still safe because our immune system is working.